What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's going to be a little bit different video than normal, but I um, figured it'd be cool content to fill the void between the norm your normal videos from us. So I'm going to be starting to do some more videos like this. If you don't like them, you know, don't watch them, stick around though because the normal content will still be here. This will just be kind of filler stuff as this is local to us. You know, the, it's a Friday, it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it and we don't have anywhere to go ride side by sides so we're making the best of it you know i bought a drift car i bought a, a mustang if you guys haven't seen it yet it's an 01 gt mustang got it somewhat cheap it had some transmission issues turned out to just be the shifter anyways moral of the story um kind of building it into a drift car and um we're out here today at great lakes dragway so it's only about 10 minutes from our house, which is really cool. But not only am I here, but we've got Josh here in the YXZ. And uh, when we get there, we'll talk to him a little bit about, you know, what what he did to his to make it a drift Z. <laughs> so we haven't really, we've never drifted one, you know, on pavement. I, I guess that's kind of a lie. We drifted, if you guys haven't seen Yamakana, we called it. It was back when Josh lived at his old house. When we first started making videos, you'd have to go back in the archives pretty far for this one. But Josh drifted through his garage and stuff. It was when he got the YXZ, and it was on his stock 27-inch Bighorns. So, I mean, it drifted really well on those. And if you guys don't know much about the Yamaha, you know, they have a clutch. It's like just like a car, and they also do have a parking brake. So we tightened up his parking brake, and, you know, so you can technically drift it, like, like with an e-brake, I guess you'd call it. But... Anyways, hopefully they let him in, you know, I don't think there's ever been a side-by-side -side drifting here before or maybe even anywhere other than Ken Block, you know, he's he's a pretty, he's a G, so everybody likes that, but I don't know if you guys have seen that, but he's got a Can-Am that he drifts, which one day I do want to take mine here, I just gotta play around with some tires and stuff to get some tires that I want to burn, um, obviously don't want to do that on my rock solos, but anyways guys, we're out here at Great Lake Shagway. I'm gonna see how the Yamaha does. He's uh, really curious. And uh, if we did do a little practice test hit kind of thing, drifting style at my house. And if you guys aren't following us on social media, check that out. You know, we post some, post some ahead of the time videos and kind of sneak peek behind the scenes, whatever you want to call it. And that our Facebook page is Blown Budget Off Road. And we also post in a, our group that we made, which is Side by Side and UTV Discussion. And we posted a video of actually me doing donuts and Josh's YXZ in my driveway. Just because I'm more comfortable doing it in a tight space, especially with my house and everything right there. So that's why I was driving it. But So I'll be super curious to see how it goes. Hopefully we can get some cool content for you guys. And uh, we'll see you there. Alright guys, we just got out here. Got the Mustang, my truck, Leo's Jeep, Josh's truck, and uh, Josh about to take the YXZ out for his first trip, so we'll see how it goes.
This doesn't have the steering angle. Wasn't too bad, at least it didn't roll. <laughs> but it doesn't have very much steering angle to crack the turns, so. So yeah, we'll see what he's got to say. Well, you didn't roll. I didn't roll. <laughs> That's the first step. <laughs> I mean... It just doesn't have angle. No angle, and I just have to full commit, so it's just like, bloop. Yeah. I mean, you didn't hit none, you didn't roll. You just spun out a couple times, but that was the very first run. And so what did we change on this? I mean, we hooked up both the sway bars. Both sway bars, suspension's as low as it'll go, as firm as it'll go. Tighten the e-brake. And Put then, some 195 tires on her. Yeah, some street tires, which honestly I think might be the biggest issue we've got going. Yeah, there's it's, too much grip. Yeah, it slid way better on the big horns with less like contact patch. But I don't know. I'm sure you'll get a lot better with it, you know? Yeah, it's the first try. Right. But all right, I'm gonna hop in line and drift the Mustang. Around, that guy that was walking up by him was like talking to him. I don't know what he was saying though. Oh, really? Before he went the last time. Yeah. Let's see how this, so this is his third run. I'm sure he's getting progressively better. <laughs> from, from what I could see in the pitch, it looked good. steering angle like as soon as it drifts it spins out you know it's pretty scary when it goes on three times <laughs> yeah pretty much all right i'm gonna hop back in line all right guys we got a special guest Aaliyah. we're going out for our second rip i think third no my second really yeah i only went first one yeah Anyways, this is probably the last clip of the GoPro mounted on the helmet cam. We only have one GoPro. But we're going to 
gonna try a different camera angle and have Josh like chase me. So I think we're gonna do that next. So that should be pretty cool. So you've seen some drone clips right there. Those are just some guys that are out here. Um, you know, Josh hasn't flown it too much. Aaliyah hasn't flown it much, so they don't want to fly it. It's scary. You flew it a little in the backyard, but they don't want to fly it and film me. So that'll be another day, I'm sure. right here. <laughs> I had to take it off so it wasn't in the way of this camera shot. Anyways, the clip before that, or after it, I don't really know the order, but Josh was chasing <coughs> me and one other guy. And uh, that's only the second time that I've tried following in a tandem. So, you know, f for the off-road guys, which is the majority of you guys that are watching, you know, you tandeming is where you chase the guy in front of you and you try to stay at the same angle. I didn't do that at all, but that's the theory. Leading is a lot easier for me anyways because I can just pretend like it's my own run. But yeah, I led last last time I was here last week and that one went well because I could just basically ignore the fact that dude was chasing me and just run my own line, but 
it's way harder to follow someone because like they initiate the slide at a different spot than me so it just kind of screws me up but I don't know Josh's gonna chase me on this next one and uh, hopefully we can get a clean chase because I think I'm going by myself so that way I can just try and get like a cool perfect line what are you trying to say? before the sun goes down I make you not focus? No, tandeming makes me not focus. Oh, I meant, I, when I said by myself, I meant not another car. You meant me, I was like, what well, was No. So, that's what you guys will see next. And it's getting dark, and I don't really know how the videos turn out at dark. Not good, I tried recording last week. It was terrible. Really? Oh, like, I, I looked at them, they looked pretty focus. good. They looked pretty good. I looked at them from the ones you did last week, so hopefully we can get a couple more shots. Josh has been chasing me, but um, after this one, he's going to go back to drifting and trying to drift that thing. It just has no steering angle whatsoever. So that's the biggest flaw. I mean, I don't know. We had the tires, so we threw it on to see how it did. It has the power, but just the steering angle is just horrible. He can't correct, like, the drift. But It looks scary. Yeah, and it three wheels and stuff. It's interesting. Because he did the, the drifting video at his last house with the big horns, 27 inch big horns, and it did great on those. So I think it's got too much traction with the street tires. But, anyways, there we're getting, is. geez, we're getting up there in the line, so we'll see you there. just been chasing me and so that's the footage you guys have been seeing it's him just chasing me and on the last one Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. that was crazy i was trying I to i was trying to stay in second gear and really stay in the power instead of checking up and it just looped so fast <laughs> steering angle so it turns more so you can stay in a drift and I have stock steering angles so I mean pretty much stock you know it's got like the free mods where you just you can chop the tie rods a little bit like where they screw into the rack it's not as sketchy as it sounds and <laughs> and remove some rack limiters so the rack has a little bit more throw but it's nothing compared to like majority of these drift cars out here you know there's some that are like full 90 degree and somehow like back yeah it's wild. crazy so they can be nearly facing the other freaking direction and still save it where you know it only takes a little screw for me and then i spin out but it's really fun though i don't know you go you trying to drift that again or no so i'm not too sure what this night footage looks like anymore but we're gonna keep filming and we'll see see what it looks like when we get on the computer
Well, that was a fun night. Didn't go ex exactly as planned for the old Mini Z, but Still definitely. Still had a blast chasing and thinking I got some pretty sick shots. Yeah. Might well, not see me out there two wheeling either while I'm <laughs> chasing. Right. Well, Aaliyah was filming with, from the stand, so they might see you two wheeling. Oh, no. Yeah. Getting spicy, not even paying attention to the track, just going hit the Mustang. Yeah. Keep it in the GoPro. It was fun though, I had a really good time. I don't know. Let us know if you guys like this, some of this stuff, you know. It's cool to play around with the cameras, use the machines a little bit, and just go out and have a fun time and share it with you guys, you know. I know most of our channel is, or all of our channel is usually side-by-side -side related, but, you know, it's like, I got all the equipment and it makes good practice for filming and stuff, so. If you're new here from drifting and you made it this far in a video, you know, we typically, Huck these things up mountains and uh, so yeah a little change of pace with some street tires on it trying to have some fun get I mean, some more use out of honestly, it honestly if I had like double the angle I probably could connect some of the track yeah I mean your biggest flaw was angle I can't because it's like you couldn't I clutch fully... kick and I just loop out it, I'm full cut and it's there ain't nothing happening because then when you let off the pedal eh, you, you know the YXZ just is like oh Five grand, no power. Six, <laughs> starting to power. And it's like if you don't fully commit and just dump the clutch, then that's when it kind of three wheels. But then if you fully commit and dump the clutch, it spins out because it doesn't have enough steering angle. For like these bigger corners, well, if it a really tight technical section, it, it could probably do it. You know, like I could link in my driveway, but it's so tight in there that, you know, by the time you're full cut, you're going the other direction. I don't know. Anyways, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'll have some more content coming for you guys. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.